This is the moment that Kevin Frankie found out what his wife, Ruby Frankie, and her business partner, Jody Hildebrand, had been doing to his two youngest children. Sometime before 11 o'clock today, we received uh, a phone call from 911 on our dispatch that uh, a 12 to 13 year old boy was knocking on doors in a neighborhood asking for food and water, that he was severely emaciated, that he had was emaciated, skinny, scrawny, uh, malnutritioned, not enough food, not enough water to sustain life. So he had I'm sorry, what? He had duct tape on his extremities, on his hands, on his ankles. And those were covering rope burns that were used to tie him down. Take a second and think about what I just said. That's the condition of your son. Given that information, your son was taken to the hospital. A warrant has been applied and granted by the Department of Child and Family Services to remove from your wife's care. So no one right now is going to have access to these two children based on their physical condition. Do you understand that? I understand. Do you, would you condone that behavior? Would I condone that behavior? No. But again, I don't know the details or I don't know what's going on, but as you described that, that sounds horrible, horrible, disgusting. No human being should be treated like that. I, yeah, okay. That's my thoughts, but again, we might be different on that. Um, Do your children are under medical care right now. And what does that mean? And it means that you don't have access to them. My understanding is that they are... What is that? They're in the custody of DCFS. And they will be for the next seven... There's a medical hold on them right now. So for at least the next 72 hours, based on our understanding. At least the next 72 They're in observation. They're, they're being watched. DCFS is going to provide you that information, and they can better answer your questions along those lines. That's handled through them. Okay. What's going to happen with my wife? I love my wife. I don't know. I'm being honest with you. I don't know. I haven't had any of you. I don't know if charges against my wife. Possibly. I think given the circumstances, that's highly appropriate. But again, I don't know your wife. I trust her, but I love my wife, and I trust my wife, and so, I mean, this feels like getting run over by a steam truck while you're sharing with me today. I thought I was just coming here to pick up my kids, and for what, I don't know what or why, but, and I was finally I'm taking them back with me. Folks, I don't know what to do. Like, I want to... You realize that I have a picture of my family on my wall, and I look at it every day, and I work, I work every day, so I can get back to my family and save my family. And everything you're sharing to me just sounds like a made-up story. Like I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like. It's just, it sounds like a horror movie. And this is, this is my life. I just want my kids. I just want my kids, I just want my family. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know why these things that you describe happen. I, I don't know. It's almost like, I want to say, 
I, I'm sorry, you, you must have somebody else. Because the, it's like, am, am I in the right conference room here? Yeah. That's what I feel like, it's real, you know, I'm having a hard time accepting this and dealing with this. Yeah. I mean, you're telling me that you're taking my kids from me, and what you're sharing with me just feels like a sucker punch, and just heartbroken. That's what you all are sharing with me. I just, I feel like, I feel responsible. I wish I was a better husband. I just want my kids back. I want my family back. I want my wife back.